Hi guys, this is Border Jumper 67 and guess what? The ROM hacks I said I was going to be doing, it, this is one of them. Now, if you did follow my channel back then, when I was actually, you know, posting shit, I stopped on posting stuff, you know, frequently. Anyways, when I was, I did a Sigma, I did a Sigma boss rush, boss rush run through, and um, tell you the truth, I made a mockery of the ROM hack because I did not complete it whatsoever. I did not. I lost the Ridley fight and the freaking Ridley fight and the gold Terezo statue fight. So, and I had, and I just uploaded my Fantoon fight, which you know how long Fantoon takes to actually destroy in this game. And I, mm, so I said, you know, what, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back and redo the game. So I'm gonna put, I'm actually through with this game. I got done with it in half an hour, I think. What was that? Sixty something minutes. I, think. I don't know, an hour or something like that. The game is actually short enough for you to complete it in less than a day. So yeah, I went back and I redid it because I didn't want to make a mockery of the game. To tell you the truth. I make a mockery of a very, very great ROM hack that's been put together. Uh, I'm not lying. It's very, it's very awesome. I mean, I do agree with Proton John's theory of having exploration, but he did add a little exploration to it, which is not like you know boss fight after boss fight after boss fight. You actually have to go to your boss fights by exploration and all that, which is totally awesome because I'll, uh, Metroid is one of the one of my one of the most uh, awesomest games ever created. I'm a major Metroid fan, and I'm actually, you know, this is actually one o'clock in the morning over here, so I'm tomorrow. I'm actually gonna go pick up the Metroid trilogy, which is came out, I think, um, a few weeks ago, two weeks. I didn't even know it came out. I just got noticed from a from a friend. My friend has it, and he said, "Did you get tr in trilogy yet?" And I said, "Whoa, is it out yet?" And he said, "Yeah, it's been out for a week now." And I said, "Oh snap!" So I'm gonna go pick it up um tomorrow. Probably spend countless hours on that, like I did the original GameCube discs. Anyway, let's get started here. This is this is done by a an AVI um recording of the um you know the S N the S N E X nine X. The emulator, the other, the other video that I did, had poor quality and I didn't like it at all since I didn't finish it and all that. Like I said, I made a mockery of it and I wanted to finish it. And um, I um, crap, I forgot what I was gonna say. Now I'm gonna show you where I got stuck here. Ridley, and I thought, uh, you know, done fighting Ridley and all that, which is, I didn't include the intro with my other one, so, yeah. I didn't include sound in the damn game, either. Which, I was, when I was recording it, like, was yesterday, I was recording it, and all of a sudden, I didn't, I didn't notice I had this sound, the emulator set on mute. And I, I was playing my music in the background. And I was thinking, whoa, what happened? And, you know, so yeah, you get to hear my voice for the entire ten minutes of this part. Um, this, I was going to put death metal in the background, but you know how people complain about death metal. I mean, some people, not all people. Some people like death metal. And let's see here, what else do I want to get through? Hmm. Okay, I'm getting to the part where I, where I jumped and got stuck in that little that little thing up there. Up us the bomb. I don't ever get that for some reason. Right here, I jumped, shoom, and I didn't have the morph ball. I realized, <laughs> and I got stuck there. And I, good thing I save stated, because I reloaded it. It doesn't show I save stated because um, uh, it um, I did a, an emulator direct recording from the emulator SNEX. The last simulator I had wasn't it was the first one they released it, which had a audio lag and all that. So, um I got the um the the um re released version which they fixed the audio lag. I wish I, I mean at least I think they did. They fixed it, which I d I don't notice it at all. And they actually um fixed the frame rate up a little. So um, 
it's not doing it's not going for like 25 frames per second it's going like 30 seconds so although the GBA one does go at f the full frames when I'm when I don't play the GBA without recording something I it goes slow as hell like with laggish and dropped frame rate but when I record for some reason it you know it shows increased frame rate like that of a GBA the same frame rate as a GBA which is kinda strange if you ask me Hmm. maybe I should go ahead and tell you guys what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna finish Metroid Fusion finish uploading those and then I'm gonna um, finish uploading MGS3 and before MGS3 and Metro Fusion, Metro Fusion gets done, I'm gonna finish Sigma because it is a short enough game for actually for actually for me to get done in a few parts. So here we go. We I actually started the last part like this, you know. I didn't start I didn't start off with the intro because I was too lazy and I was a stupid LP back then. Now I'm more experienced and all that. So let us. Let's go on. We let's see here. I actually know where everything is here. Hold on, let me put on some music. You can't hear it, but I can. At least I think you can hear it. Okay, there we go. Mm, you get the missiles weren't very hard to find. If well, if you were when I first played it, it took me a few uh, minutes to actually find it because no one's actually going to shoot in that exact same spot. But it does give you a little, you know, hint where it is because of the um, the tile settings. And I give people kudos to actually ROM hack, because they actually got the the time and the skills and the patience to actually try that, especially with ASM coding. Don't even get me started with that. I saw videos about ASM coding, which is pfft, yeah, that's not happening for me. Although I'm gonna probably end up learning it since I'm getting into software engineering, which is kind of like ASM coding, but you know, more advanced for other software. But I did try a little hacking back then. Um, I did, I did try some ASM coding, but I actually quit because, because of college. Actually, I'm actually in a um, online college right now, and it's fully hectic right now okay um have you I'm gonna get this uh, thing out of the way right now have you guys ever tried to call your internet service provider because you're having problems with internet connections have you ever did that because I did and the guy makes you feel like a dumbass every time you every time you call for a problem like my internet connection is down as we speak and I probably have it up by tomorrow or something like that. But he makes you they make you feel like total dumbasses when you when you tell them your problems. Like my DSL connection to the phone line isn't you know, very didn't work at all. And he makes you is the green light on? And I said, No, it's not. Then you have a problem with your DSL connection. I said, Well nah shit. Um I say that's why I called you for. Right here, this is where I died. Those crabs, I think, take at, take, our instant kills. I think. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time you every time you walk through that door. The water is up. You see the water, and all of a sudden, it, the water goes down fast as hell. Cause it's, the water's like, we're not going to touch Samus. We're scared of Samus. Water is even afraid of Samus, cause of her awesomeness. She's that awesome. Anyway. <sighs> I have AT and T, which is one of the one of the crappiest internet connections out there. But I could go faster, but you know, my father decided to not to do that. So um, when I when I do get the job, I'm actually going to increase it to the full maximum speed that this DSL connection I can can actually get, so I can upload more bigger files. Because the files I upload now are 80 megabyte and up files. Somewhere between 80 megabytes and 90. I cannot upload about 200 megabyte parts because they take like several hours on my connection to actually, you know, get up. So we're coming on to our first boss here, I think. If you count Meta, if you count Ridley, which I don't. Um, you count. This is the Spore Spawn, 
which she actually made the room a little smaller than in the original. So you will have a little trouble here if you don't know what you're doing. By trouble, I mean, look, it's a green vagina. I mean, look at it. If you try comparing it, it's it's a it's a it looks like a green vagina. And what's funny is that um, last time I said that in my old my old Sigma boss rush run through the game, my sister was in the room and she's like five or six at the time. She's like nine now, but um, I said green vagina and then she repeated it, which I said, oh hell no, you better not be saying that next to mom, because my mom gets on to me for ki teaching her cuss words and all that. Hmm. Here I actually tried going Rambo style on his ass here. Later on I had to start shooting randomly.